With this next exercise, we are going to apply the concept of parallel motion to our single independent strokes. You're going to start at the interval of a fifth, once again, and you're going to place your outside mallet in your left hand and your inside mallet with your right hand on octave C's. You'll use the same rotation as you've done with other single independent strokes and you're going to move in a stepwise motion at the same time. Once you end the exercise after this first measure on beat four, your hands will already be over the notes you need for the second measure if you have not expanded your interval. It's very important again to keep that interval at a fifth so you're prepared for the next set of notes in measure two. You'll notice that as I move up the keyboard, there is just a little bit of motion in my body. I'm moving parallel to the keyboard not turning my torso and just shifting my weight from the right side to the left side. You don't need to have your hands move independently from your body. You always want to have that body slightly moving with your inner mallets. At this stage of your playing, you can really start to notice if you're progressing with your technique. If you're still really struggling with this exercise, you may want to go back to lesson two and work on those single independent strokes again. If this exercise is really inaccurate, you need to make sure you're taking it very slow so that you understand the rotation while you work on this arm movement. We are only building on these exercises from here on out, so you want to make sure that even though you may only be in the first couple of metronome boxes at this exercise, your previous exercises, you should be well along in your progress chart moving toward those higher metronome markings.